We're developing plant-based expression systems to bring therapeutics to market that are much more affordable. I'm Tom Brittnow. I'm the CEO of Biopharma Greens. Think about cancer treatments or even vaccines that are out of reach for the average American. And this is in part due to production costs. So what we hope to do with Biopharma is use a robust platform to produce these drugs at, at a much lower cost. There's many different expression systems. They've been worked on for decades, but no one's really focused on the plant side of things. So these are a couple of the different lettuce varieties that we're working with for one particular protein. Lettuce is a diploid, it's got good genetics, and it's been bred for many, many years for humans, right? So we can eat lettuce, and so it's a very safe organism to start with, and it's got a very solid genetic platform to engineer. The idea is we're gonna focus on the plant, engineering the plant genetics to optimize the production of these therapeutics. And then we would grow to the scale that we need for our particular therapeutic. Right now our lead candidate is a vaccine. We're also looking at a protein that could be used in a diagnostic test. Uh, and another protein that would be used uh, as a monoclonal antibody therapy. Those are confidential now, so we're still in the process of filing IP. A vaccine, we've calculated we would need about two heads of lettuce to get into a clinical trial. But if we're using a growth hormone, uh, we may need you know, close to an acre of material to, to produce it in that quantity. Lettuce is one, but we're also considering some other plant systems for production. We grow the plants. We use a process known as agroinfiltration. So we introduce a bacterium that contains the gene we want into the leaf cells. That bacterium will introduce a gene into those plant cells, and then it'll co-op the plant cells to produce the protein that's in the vector we give it. So that means we can produce very large quantities of a single protein in every cell of this leaf that are transformed with that bacteria. So we can go from our DNA template to having milligram quantities of protein in three to five days. So that's a very rapid iteration. So after about five days, we'll go in and just cut off all the, the lettuce and we extract it in a relatively straightforward extraction protocol. And then we would purify it like you would purify any other therapeutic in a uh, production system. Any protein that you want to produce in large quantities uh, quickly, this is a potential system. We can test the different varieties, so there may be differences between one lettuce variety that is more beneficial for a particular therapeutic, but we can also engineer the protein itself to express better in a plant system. It could be used to treat anything, any condition where a protein therapeutic is currently being used. This is a viable replacement production system.